We have a, an attorney in the hot seat right now from Skokie, Illinois, David Gleisha, who is, uh, well, six away from winning a million dollars. Nice to talk to your mother-in-law there. She's uh, still teaching, huh? Right, she's uh, my, just like my wife is a biology teacher in high school, she's a biology teacher in college. And I assume my daughter will someday become a biology teacher somewhere. Yeah, probably. Anyway, you've got three children, right? Yes. And all of them, well, they're heading for college now. I think one is already going. Uh, starting next year. Starting, starting next Brandeis, year. and they have a lien on this money, I assume. <laughs> sure they do. Well, let's see how much money we can win for them. You're going for $32,000, a very important level. So let's get on with it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go, David, for $32,000. On Saturday Night Live, Sherry O'Terry and Will Farrell regularly played high school students who pretended to be what? Science teachers? Cheerleaders? Cafeteria workers? Vice principals? Be cheerleaders, final answer. Exactly right, they were the cheerleaders on Saturday Night Live. Closer and closer we go now. Five away from a million. 64,000. Here it is. The 1980 Gdansk Accords were spearheaded by striking workers in what country? Poland, Romania, Hungary, Czechoslovakia. A, Poland. Final answer. Yes, Poland. Four away, and here it is for $125,000. Which of the following stars is closest to the Earth? Sirius, Altair, Alpha Centauri, Vega. <laughs> I have it narrowed down to two, and if I know I go 50-50, it'll be those two. Um, well, I think I saw a lot of college kids in the audience, so let me ask them. All right, sure, we can do that. Audience, David needs your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, not a convincing spread, but Alpha Centura won it with 40%. And Sirius came in second with 28%. Uh, I... How, My how gut reaction gonna... is, is serious, and, you know... Well, it doesn't mean they're necessarily right. The, the Sirius had a strong showing. Right. What were you thinking? How did you narrow it down by two? To Sirius and Alpha Centauri. Well, there you go. Uh, I'll go with A, Sirius, final answer. It's Alpha Centauri. Oh. Go home with 32,000. 32,000. Not bad. Don't Son of a gun. Good luck to you, David. Nice having you here. Look oh, that, David. You know, 50 50 might have saved him, but uh, he thought he had it made, you know? $32,000, a lot of money to lose, but more importantly, it's a lot of money to win, too. Now let's see who's going to be next to win some money here. So here's the next fastest finger question. With these government agency TV series in the order of their original debut, starting with the earliest. The X-Files, Get Smart, The Untouchables, Twin Peaks. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest uh, series, The Untouchables, then Get Smart, Twin Peaks, The X-Files. All right, that's it. That's the order. Let's see who's got it right. That's the time winner, Mark Frank Palmer. Hello, Mark. Congratulations. Let's go for it. So the winner is Mark Frankfather, comes from Rock Falls, Illinois. That's uh, a town about 100 miles west of Chicago. Married and uh, has uh, a daughter and son at home. Right. Nice to see you here, Mark. So what do you do for a living? I'm a, a caseworker with the Illinois Department of Human Services. Uh-huh. All right, fine. And they tell me that you're slightly absent-minded. A little bit, yeah. yes. Yeah. In, in, what, in what area? Well, I, I have a bad habit of losing uh, car keys 
uh, wallet, glasses, checkbook, those kinds of things. Yeah. But I have, my wife takes good care of me. Well, Mark, it's good to have you here. Why don't we get into it, okay? You know the rules, you know about the lifeline. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Mark. Okay, for $100, Mark. Helmet use is recommended for which of these activities? Sleeping, walking, bicycling, breaking up. The answer is uh, C, Regis, bicycling. Final answer. Yes, you're right. Bicycling. Got it, Ron. Okay, Mark, take a look now at the $200 question. Which of these foods is usually blended with milk in order to make a milkshake? Ice cream, cake, pudding, broccoli. A, ice cream. Final answer. Yes, that's right. Ice cream. You want $200. He's going for $300. The word gusher usually refers to a well that gushes what? Oil, sand, lemonade, genuine emotion. The answer is A, oil. Final answer. That's what gushes up, oil. $500. By definition, an arid area of land lacks what? Sunlight, animals, oxygen, moisture. Uh, the answer is D, moisture, final answer. Got it right for $500. He's going for 1000 The body of a banjo is traditionally what shape? Triangle, circle, rectangle, square. The answer is B, circle, final answer. It's a circle, $1,000. Good going, Mark. We're going to take a break from the combat. He goes for... 2,000.